Okay, good day everyone. Oh, so in this lesson, we're gonna find the maxima and minima of this function. Okay, uh, the steps of maxima and minima. Given the function, we differentiate once to find the f prime of x. Set f prime of x into zero and solve for x. Using the scenario, x the x values we find will be the coordinates for the minima or the maxima. After that, substitute this x values back into the given function. So, the problem is, postal regulation required that the sum of the length and girth of the rectangular package may not exceed at 108 inches. The girth is the perimeter of an end of the box. What is the maximum volume of the package with the square ends that meets this criteria? So, um, uh, given this scenario, we can identify the girth as this perimeter or this area in this box. This box is the girth. So, we can say that uh, we can put a variable into the length like variable y, uh, variable y over the length here. And then we can put in this girth, we can put a variable x. x, then x, and then x. So, uh, the formula we're gonna use is since we are looking for the volume, and so we're gonna use volume equals length or y times x width times x height or x squared y. And given this function, we have four x's, and then I can use this function is 4x and then plus y which is the length and then equals to 108 it said that the uh, sum of the length and the girth of the rectangular package may not exceed 108 inches so the sum of the length and the girth may not exceed to 108 inches that's why I equal it to 108 inches and then we can um, Transform this formula into y equals um, 108 minus 4x. Since transpose the formula into y given. And then to find the uh, to find the uh, function we will differentiate, we can say that b equals x squared times 108 minus 4x and then we can uh, distribute x squared into these two numbers like this um, it will become b equals 108 x squared minus 4x cubed and then after that we need to identify the domain of the possible values so we can say that x and y so we can say that the domain will not should not be less than zero and it should be greater than zero after that since the length and the girth may not exceed to 108 inches so the length and the sum of the grid are the same so I can say that the y which is the length can be 108 and then in order to get the x I divided uh, the y into 4 to get 27 after getting that uh, uh, example of domain we can now differentiate these values the into um, b prime or the differences is differentiation of derivatives b prime equals 108 x squared and derivative of 108 squared is 216 x minus 4 x cubed is 12 x squared so we can factor it out into this formula um, factor it out in 12 x times 18 minus x is equals to zero and then our critical point will be x 
equals 18 and it can be also 0 which is will be proved that the maximum value is nothing and then we can now put a graph to ident to uh, much identify the situation better so we put 18 as a critical value and then for example if we plug in 17 in this it will give us a positive value times positive value it's in the left side 17 and then it will give us positive which is increasing and then if we get it x it substitute it 19 in the right side value it will get us a negative times positive will get us decreasing value and then we can say that our x is equals 18 after we get that critical value 18 we can say that x equals 18 and now we can substitute x equals 18 into our into our y y equals 108 minus 4x then y equals my over here y equals 108 minus 4x and then y equals 108 minus 4 times 18 and we get the value of y equals 36 and then when after we get the value of uh, y 36 we can we can say that 36 is the maximum value since the unit that we are finding is inches based from the given and in order to get that we will use the formula of the of the volume which is volume equals x squared times y it is in the given scenario we were in volume equals x 18 squared times 36 our y will equal to 11,664 cubic inches and we can say that the uh, maximum volume on the package with square ends that meets this criteria is 11,664 inches cubic inches that's all i hope you understand